recently I lost someone very close to me. It doesn't matter who or how, but this person was my life. It has caused me a lot of sadness and almost empty feeling. But like I always say, once you lost, it gives you more reason to find your way. Sometimes we don't take the most conventional paths. But as long as you are heading in the right direction, I reckon you'll be okay. I've started my journey and couldn't think of a better story to share. A hump of happiness every Wednesday. What is happiness? Great question, actually. It's possibly the greatest. The dictionary defines it as the state of being happy. But what is it? The answer seems as elusive as achieving it. We can tell whether or not we are happy. But what is it, and how do we achieve it? Let me start like this. I'm Dan, one of the 7,304,992,000 people on this earth. I have a car, a home, a TV, enough to place me above the average living standard measurements in the world. But is this what makes me happy? No. The media and corporations consume us wherever we go, setting benchmarks on the idea of happiness, controlling the perception of how much we need to be happy. The more you have, the better life is, right? Wrong. A chocolate, your favorite CD, exercise, a couple drinks, likes on your Instagram photo, friends, a girl, a few girls, a new t-shirt, a cigarette, your pet, your laptop, a movie, a funny YouTube clip, take out, a book. A lot of these things can make you happy, yes. But that's for the now. I do believe that being present is important, but first you have to establish your personal foundations of happiness within before escaping into the world of instant gratification that we live in today. I feel it's a large reason for the increase in worldwide depression. How do I do this, you ask? It's simple. There's an equation I came across that makes so much sense. Happiness equals reality over expectation. comes down to personal perception and being able to alter that as you grow from day to day and learn new things. Realizing the realities of what you are surrounded by and not comparing your life to someone else's that you are convinced is living the dream. And saying it's so unfair, they have it so easy, but rather striving for greatness. Always be grounded and remain appreciative of what you have. We are also different and all want different outcomes for our lives. But if you keep searching for the beauties in the world, you will eventually start living in a beautiful world. Before writing this film, I didn't have a conclusion. But through this experience, I've arrived at a point where I understand that sadness is vital. Without the rain, we'll never see the rainbow. Being happy is not the easiest road because there is no destination. You don't just arrive at Avenue Happy and stop moving. Rather, it's about loving the path you chose to travel on and embracing the journey with open arms. And keep walking. Forever. Thanks once again to Green Renaissance for helping me out with this film. Click on the large screen to subscribe for more. And click on the small screen to watch another hump of happiness. See you Bruce next week.